in the metro area. So great weather for the weekend, warm, sunny and nice. Now out in the tropics of the Atlantic, it is very busy. We have Hurricane Umberto and potential tropical cyclone nine, both in the western Atlantic. Umberto has strengthened to a powerful major category four hurricane. It has a textbook look here on satellite. Perfectly well defined eye winds at 145 miles per hour. It may strengthen to a category five storm this weekend and move out into the open Atlantic Ocean, but it will move nearby Bermuda this week and then head out to sea. So this will avoid the United States, but it could bring some impacts to Bermuda. Now potential tropical cyclone nine is bringing some squally, rainy, gusty weather to the Caribbean. Some heavy showers for uh, parts of Cuba, Turks and Caicos and Hispaniola. Now PTC nine will likely strengthen in the coming days to maybe tropical storm Imelda, possibly hurricane Imelda going into this upcoming week. It will bring some bad weather to the Bahamas in the coming days, and then it's set to sit off the southeastern coast for a few days this week. So there's still some uncertainty with the forecast as we go into the upcoming work week. It will sit off the coast of the Carolinas and Georgia going into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we'll walk you through with the Euro precision cast to get you an idea. So some rough weather for the islands for the weekend, and then we get into Monday and Tuesday. We'll start to see some rain and maybe some gusty winds and coastal flooding for the Carolinas and maybe into Georgia, into Virginia as well, possibly. So a lot to watch for along the southeastern coast. But the Euro has what would probably be a Melda by this time just sitting off the coast. So it may just sit off the coast for a few days and really not push inland, but still there will be some impacts felt along the Carolinas and parts of the southeast. GFS, the American model, pretty similar setup here. It has what will be a Melda just sitting off the U.S. southeast coast for a few days throughout the upcoming week, but certainly talking some heavy rain, some flooding, some coastal flooding and wind for parts of the Carolinas in the southeast. So if you have any travel plans there, have any friends or family there, make sure they know about this. For us, our local forecasts, no stress when it comes to the weather.